All right, okay, welcome everyone to the sales enablement training for, what is it, November 1st. Uh, we are going to do part two of the sales enablement for uh, Azure DevOps, formerly known as uh, VSTS, or uh, um, Visual Studio Team Services, and TFS, which is a Team Foundation Server. So last time we talked about uh, uh, kind of an overview of what uh, what Microsoft has in terms of Azure DevOps and kind of a little bit of fringe stuff around what is not Azure DevOps, but kind of still plays in this space. Um, went in a little bit more into detail about kind of the high level of what of what is in each of those different uh, segments and a little bit about how that compares to what we have. Today, I'm going to answer some of the questions that are a little bit more strategy based that came up and we didn't get a chance to get to last time. Uh, plus, go deeper into um, a discussion around around what they have uh, from a strengths and weaknesses perspective, and uh, and and really, this is kind of the beginning of a discussion. And I want to make that point very clear here: um, that how we position ultimately against Microsoft's Azure DevOps is going to come down to what you guys find and encounter in the field, what we bring in from you know from the market uh, awareness. Um, and and as a team, put together an effective, you know, iterate and put together an effective uh, uh, response and uh, a set of a strategy to how to approach them. Right now, uh, we're looking at our homepage. I'm going to always start here because I want to make sure everyone's aware of how to get to the information that I'm about to show you. Uh, you want to get to the DevOps Tools page, which you can get to by our main menu, or if you are down here. You can get to it by comparing all dev tools, DevOps tools. On that page, we've got the uh, Azure DevOps. Do the comparison page for Azure DevOps. Uh, you'll note again, I am running this out of uh, out of um, my local right now. Um, it's still pushing a change up to. Uh, uh, to the main, so uh, to, to the main branch, um, but this will be probably by the end of this call uh, live. So, so on this page, we are. This is where we're collecting information about this particular competitor. Um, uh, we talked last time on Tuesday about how Azure DevOps is really the rebranding for the most part of of um, uh, VSTS and TFS. Uh, I do want to point out a couple of things. Um, I misspoke on um, uh, on Tuesday about whether or not pipelines was a new piece or not. Um, it is not. I said that it uh, it was. Uh, I want to clarify that uh, a pipeline capability, uh, actually two, have been part of VSTS and TFS since about 2015. Uh, they have build pipelines for running the CI side, and they have explicitly or specifically different. Uh, release pipelines for running the release side. Um, the new pipeline capability is being talked about in Azure DevOps. The only part that's new about it uh, is that um, they have uh, made the default the ability to uh, construct those pipelines using YAML files and having your code basically pipelines as code or, or processes code. Uh, that is actually also in uh, VSTS and TFS uh, was just getting released, um, uh, but they've made that the default. Uh, so the YAML pipelines, the YAML defined pipelines is, uh, again, that is from VSTS, but it is a fairly new capability. Um, and we'll see as we look at the weaknesses um, or some of the things about that, that there's, it's actually not connected to a lot of stuff yet. Still, there's still a lot that you can't do with it. Um, so that's that's an ephemeral that's a very fleeting you know small window that we have where that is at least uh, um, a weakness in that in that capability uh, so uh, going back to um, to that uh, to let's see uh, to to last week uh, there was also a question about whether or not um, there was a separate code base between VSTS and TFS um, I've confirmed at this point, so I did hear from their project manager that it was a the same. The notion that that they're actually taking three months or a quarter to release TFS after they released functionality uh, on a three-week cycle with the v, with the SaaS service um, is kind of what's what was uh, pushing that uh, us away from that concept. Uh, but in both the video by um, 
by the folks who actually converted Microsoft over uh, to use Git, uh, and um, and in uh, a uh, a write up uh, on Microsoft uh, blog site right here. Um, it's pretty confirmed at this point that it is the same code base. And I say um, the two products are separate, but about 90% of their code uh, is, is the same. So one code base, um, but they are taking cycle time to, uh, to produce a, a, uh, an, off, an on-prem version. Okay, so there were some good questions that came up uh, that we didn't get a chance to get to. Uh, Phil uh, asked, uh, what does the migration path look like from Azure DevOps uh, to GitLab from SCM and CICD? I answered that a little bit, um, but just wanted to point out that I've added more of that answer um, down here under comments and anecdotes. Um, so that's right here. So their SCM, they have two types of SCM capability built into VSTS and TFS. One of those is um, their legacy. I think I mentioned that last, last week or earlier this week, um, the, the uh, TF, um, what is it? The, the, basically the team foundation um, code control or code management. Um, that's a centralized service. They've, they've added it, um, source control as part of uh, VSTS and, and uh, TFS. Uh, and the migration from either of those um, is there, there's there's plenty of migration tools out there. It's it's well established. Microsoft made their own because they moved all of their code over as well to Git. Um, and once it's in Git, then getting it from Git to Git uh, is is not not hard. Um, the bigger issue is if someone is coming from um, their older centralized control uh, or code control system to uh, to Git based uh, to decentralize, and there's Coming from any product, you would have this problem, but there's training to go through for the uh, for the organization about how to work with Git. Um, but that's something we, you guys are all familiar with at this point. The CI/CD migration is a little bit tougher. Um, uh, their primary definitions uh, for pipelines at this point are going to be done through the UI, which does not lay itself out as a um, as a YAML file. Maybe that's coming, but that's not there yet. Uh, and so converting into GitLab would require doing a task by task breakdown and conversion um, when converting the pipelines over. Also, their pipelines are broken into, again, as I mentioned earlier, build pipelines and release pipelines is separate, whereas we don't do that. So, um, so there would be a little bit more work to consider there, but not insurmountable. Let's see. Uh, Joel also asked uh, earlier. Um, do we know how Azure DevOps is positioning against us? So no, not yet. Um, doing some searches, there's nothing publicly stated about uh, how they position us. And, and uh, you, what you can read through the tea leaves is that they're, they're aware. Um, they have anywhere where they talk about being able to import other competitors into their project. Obviously, they mention us without any issue. But where they talk about integrations, they definitely don't mention us. So, um, but that's about as much as we have right now. Um, this is again, this is something that that we're going to learn over time as we engage them more and more. And I need you guys to bring that feedback back in so we can centralize it and get it captured. Um, what I do have is right here, um, and this is a positioning, this is how they are positioning themselves out at customers. Uh, this was out on the internet. Um, so, and there's no proprietary mark on it, but I'm going to switch over to it. So this is their presentation, one of their presentations from Germany. Um, it's pretty long. I'm not going to go through it here, but it's linked. You can go through it and check it out and get a sense of how they're positioning. They're doing a a lot about building credibility of themselves and how they've transferred themselves over so they understand the challenges of moving to DevOps. Um, they talk about the practices and how they're going, you know, how they can help with those pieces. Uh, and then, uh, you know, this kind of looks familiar, right? Uh, in fairness, this is on the DevOps wiki page, Wikipedia page, but uh, this is kind of the, the rest of the deck goes through talking out each of these pieces in these four sections, plan, uh, de develop and test, release and monitor and learn. So, so this will give you a sense at least about what they're saying when they go in and they start talking about uh, Azure DevOps to uh, to prospects. And um, I'll 
look to get feedback from you guys on what you're experiencing out there and I'll also continue to work on building uh, um, a way to to talk against this or to, to counter this. This is what we covered in a pictorial version, what we kind of what we covered last time. This is just an overview of if we look at the stages that we subscribe that we which goes by um, and we place in it things like they have, for example, um, uh, and under verify, they have pipelines, but they also actually have test plans. So they get double credit there. But this is kind of how it lays out. Um, manage, we don't have anything yet. We're working on that. They've got portfolio, MS portfolio management. It's not part of Azure. It's actually part of Office 365 right now. Um, but it's still, so it's not integrated in, but it is a product that they have. Um, they don't have anything under configure. And this is a big point here uh, right now is they don't have anything under secure. They do have security operational services, but uh, or products for help operations security, but they don't have code scanning or any of that built in. They work through integrations with the, the standard black duck, white hat, or, or um, white source rather, all of those guys. Um, and as a result, they don't have it tightly integrated and you're hopping to different UIs when you go get the results. So that is one of the strengths that we definitely have. 